Howdy home guys and gals, welcome back to Dinner Tools. We've got what you should be buying at least before Labor Day. We got the Labor Day sale coming out soon, but till then, we've got an extension on the parking lot sale with some just insane prices. We're talking like pre-pandemic. We're talking even better than that in some cases. All right, let's jump through these coupons real quick. I'm not going to cover everything. We're just going to touch on some of the, the better items here. The McGraw air compressors. Look at this. We've got one, two, three, four, five of the McGraw air compressors plus the Fortress. I'm sorry, my philosophy on this right now with the way air compressors and air tools are is either you should go low, go small like that three gallon. That's a great deal. 50 bucks, 45 bucks even. You're going to get either the hot dog or the pancake i think honestly the hot dog is the better choice that my my two cents on it i'm not saying the other air compressors aren't bad although i'll be honest if you're gonna do nailing all day long that six gallon is a great one for running two nailers that is a, a solid kind of prosumer choice but that 20 gallon and that eight gallon I just don't think they add enough oomph over something like the pancake compressors. Uh, the, if you really want to go that big, you run air tools, you really want to jump up to something like that Fortress. It's what I run in my shop. It's fantastic. 350 bucks on that one. Now, that gives you the option then of really getting the power then out of those Earthquake XT tools right next to it there. Great ones. 100 bucks your choice. I will say, if you haven't seen my video from SEMA, check it out. I got that little compact one going. That thing is small. It's a great compact size. A lot of power in your hand. And check out my friends over at Torque Test Channel. They rated the Earthquake XT Impacts as I think it was best bang, like most most torque for the dollar in their weight class. Uh, now we got the if you're already in the Bauer, the the nailer that's a no brainer. You know that one. The ten dollar spray gun that's a great little pickup every so often. The nailer there, uh, twenty five. It's an okay price. We've seen it cheaper than that. The the hose reel. It's a decent hose reel. There's a better one. It's the Merlin one. So I got it in my shop. In fact, there's the Merlin hose right next to it for eighteen dollars. Uh, of course, the uh, the professional the Black Widow there. If you're looking for a high end gun, you know about that one. Then uh, let's talk about floor jacks. We got a bunch of uh, floor jack options here. We have the basic three ton for one hundred and ten dollars. That's not a bad deal. But hold off. Don't don't, don't get that one yet because I, there's some other ones we need to talk about. The Daytona jack stands, three ton jack stands for $30. That's a no brainer. That's the new upgraded one with the extra safety and the pin and everything else in it. The shop towels, I'm not a fan of the shop towels. They leave little threads everywhere. Maybe, are these the new ones? Maybe they don't do it. If you've got the, these recently, I've avoided them for some time because they left red threads everywhere in my shop. Now let's talk about this Ames thermal laser thing, thermometer thingy. I cannot say enough about this. Now, Ames makes good quality, solid, great bang for the buck stuff. I think everyone needs one of these laser thermometers. It's good for the grill. It's good for checking on your car. I just diagnosed a buddy's, uh, the, um, the, um, the thermostat in his car and the way we did it was we were able to point it at the uh, the coolant hose waiting for that thermostat to kick and when it didn't kick we could tell that hose was you know was still not not as hot as it should be and we knew the thermostat was bad now you could sit there and say we well, just put your hand on that hose and stuff a lot of spinning you know air on his little compact engine there a lot of spinning fans around there didn't want to stick my hand in there anyway other great great for this winter seeing where the heat leaks are in your house it's great for that also the two dollar uh, magnetic uh, uh, tray i you can't have enough of those as far as i'm concerned they, they should be everywhere uh here's the three ton low profile jack i i like that jack it's a solid jack but you know what my favorite one is no, maybe you don't need it but we'll talk about it in a minute mine's of course is the low profile long reach jack uh the, look at this 20 ton air jack for a hundred dollars that's a great deal Funnels for 99 cents. You should pick up three or four of those. They will disappear because when you got nice cheap funnels, people take them for all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's see. There's the two-ton jack for $100. If the, All you need is a basic jack. If you're like, hey, I just got, you know, my, my sedan or my minivan or something like that. Uh, you're not running a big, you know, van or pickup truck or something like that. That'll, that fine. It'll be fine. Uh, let's see. Let's keep going down. Da, 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 da. I, I can't say enough about these, the solid rubber chocks. I use those for all sorts of stuff. Utility trailers, all sorts of things. They're always good to have around, especially even when you're jacking something up, put one behind it on the back wheels, make sure nothing rolls on you. Safety first, right? All right. Uh, and this Viking for a, for a controller, you know, uh, a, what do you call it? A main battery maintainer. It, it's not a bad option at 30 bucks. All right, we keep going. Of course, the Predator engines, you know, those are the by now kind of the gold standard when it comes to inexpensive but reliable small engines. 
Uh, we see here. I'm Jackery. I'm not a fan of Jackery. I don't like the design. I don't like the fact they use a lot of, uh, of you know, specific you know connections just to them. Uh, I, it's it's just not my favorite kind of technology out. There's better ones out there at the same kind of price. Uh, and and Harbor Freight has some of them in the EcoFlow. I'm a huge fan of EcoFlow. In fact, we got a video on the EcoFlow coming up here shortly. Foldable aluminum sports chair. I love the style of sports chair, but I'm a bigger bear myself and they're a little small for me, but if you're more uh, of the of the slender type folk, great chair. I love having the side table. I wish mine, in fact, I'm actually sitting in one right now. I wish mine had a little side pockets over there. We use a lot camping and whatnot. Going to, the, going to kids sporting events and stuff like that, Everyone else has got those little rickety folding chairs. You pull out these things. They're nice. They're comfortable. You set your drinks on it. Uh, anyway, let's keep going here. We got the Predator 3500, the Super Quiet. This is a 3500. It's at 850. It in its day, it was the gold standard for RV camping generators. But now Harbor Freight's got that 5,000 generator, and it's a thousand dollars flat price. All right, not even the sale price. We got to see what the sale price is that could, is going to be on that. That's got not only is it instead of thirty five hundred, it's five thousand. Instead of single fuel, it's dual fuel. It has the CO secured just like this, and it has remote start, and it's got the luggage style grip handles on it. It, it. If we can get that at anywhere close to this price, if it even comes down to nine fifty, at a hundred bucks more, I would say we got Labor Day around the corner. I would pump the brakes on this because uh, that that other one that, that, that it's just a better generator. It is now if you want some uh, a lot of power, the nine thousand has a lot of power for the buck at eight hundred eight hundred thirty dollars. Uh, we used to have that generator. We traded it in and got the uh, the nine the ninety five hundred super quiet uh, you know, inverter generator, and I absolutely love it. We got a video on that coming out here for you. By the way, how do we trade it in? If you buy the uh, the extended warranty on anything at Harbor Freight and you want to upgrade. It's up to manager discretion, but you can bring it back in and be like, oh, it's within the time period on, on, the, on my extended warranty. I want to upgrade to that new, better item. And they'll usually be like, sure thing. You just pay the difference. You got to love that. All right. The hex key set. That's a hard pass. Fiberglass hammer, it's all right. It's not bad. Master, the Master Tech set there for $300. If you're looking for a one-and-done solution for a prosumer's, uh, you know, uh, full mechanics tool set, that's it. That, that's a great set. The Quinn, I, I can't say enough. I got the right here. Let me see if I can cut back over here. Uh, let me come over here. The Quinn screwdrivers, I this is the one I use on my bench. I have them on my bench. You can't quite see it's right over there uh, where I have the whole set on the wall. But this is the one of the Quinn screwdrivers. This thing is a solid handle. I love that. You've got the pass-through up here. You've got the square shaft. You can put a wrench on that. This is a good, solid hand. i got big hands, big old paws. This is a, a great screwdriver for that. I can't recommend them enough, especially at that price for 20 bucks. Come on, 20 bucks. All right, uh, let's see. The gold plate. <laughs> you know you want the gold ratchet. You know, I've got a bunch of those, and they're all missing. My, my I, We gave one away. Duncan took off with my half-inch. Uh, I had two of the quarter inch ones that came out and, uh, or sorry, the three eights and, and the, in the three eights or the, the quarter inch one is disappeared. I think my daughter took off with it. She was coveting it the other day. That's what happens when you get sparkly stuff around the shop. Uh, the Pittsburgh deep impacts the, the don't sleep on the Pittsburgh impacts. We're going to talk more about them later. 20 bucks for the comfort grip screwdriver set. It's not the best, but it's a lot of screwdrivers. Great little, you know, accessory bench screwdriver kind of stuff, or just a budget option. Uh, the Pittsburgh tool, uh, tool case here, 130 piece. This is a nice one to like keep in your RV when you go like weekend camping kind of stuff. I got a buddy who does just that. We've had to use it a couple times on his trailer. Uh, the tape measures, I love these tape measures. I know I've got some nice big Lufkin high-end tape measures. They're great and stuff, but I'm always, you know, they're always somewhere else. And these nice little small tape measures, I can I can throw in my pocket. I can carry. I, I litter the shop and the house and the cars with them. I have them everywhere. Do they die eventually? Sure, but they're two bucks. Just grab another one. Eleven, twelve dollar torque wrench. Nice basic everyday kind of torque wrench. Uh, the the breaker bars for ten bucks. Light to medium duty. Don't. They're not great for heavy duty stuff. Now the next to it, we've got the, I'm looking for, I'm like, I always have this. I have some really nice, uh, you know, utility knives, 
And yet I keep grabbing this one. This, this is a Gordon. This is the old, I don't know if they sell it in black anymore, but it's your basic, you know, utility knife, locking blade. Uh, it's got the lock back here. Easy change on the, on the blade there. This thing is awesome. And for $4, it just works. The, what doesn't work is for, at least for me, is that five piece plier set. I'm sorry. It's junk. It just avoid it. Uh, you know, I've been doing this now for a long time and I've reviewed tons and tons of tools. I've held and used tons and tons of tools from Harbor Freight. We're like the original channel here covering Harbor Freight. And, and let me tell you, I, I, that's how we started here was telling you what the stuff to get, the stuff to avoid. And that's one of the ones to avoid. Uh, cable ties, there's a nice pickup. I'll tell you what, I like this brawn here for $22, but I like that, that icon there for $30 a little bit more. That's a nice light, okay? Uh, speaking of which, we got the Icon Floodlight here for $35. Armstrong, we got, I am just grabbed one of these. I'm going to be putting up a, a TV in the bedroom because the wife, anyway, things like you know that. The Union 10-gun safe there for $180. This is not a bad deal. You know, it used to be kind of high price. And then everyone else raised their price on the guns on the gun cabinets. And now it's, they're all super expensive. So at that at that point, you know, it's, it's not a safe. It's a security locker thing, okay? Uh, anyway, the pop-up light, four bucks. This thing is wicked bright. A lot of great uses for that. Going camping, other stuff with it. That's nice. Of course, the, the linkable lights, those are fantastic. I always talked about these. They're nice, great accessory lights. This thing right here is brighter than you will expect. And I, you know what I use it for? On the back of it, you can, you can either hang it using a screw. It's got peel-off adhesive strips. Or it's got two little magnets. Not the most powerful magnets, but I put them on the inside of toolboxes. Um like my tool cabinets and stuff like on, on, they have the bigger uh, cabinet door stuff. So when I have to reach in there, I flip the thing. They're ridiculously bright. They are. All right, let's keep going here. Of course, the gloves are on sale. The, the Franklin uh, hand truck, I keep telling you folks, work smart, not hard. Don't hurt your back. Nobody, I, I've never known anybody who came back from back surgery and was like, whoo, I feel 100%. It just never happens. Once you hurt your back, that's it. It's all downhill from there. Sorry, folks. 60 bucks. Get a hand truck. We have one at, at the house that we use. And uh, it's, you know, bring it down here, bring it up there. It's, someone's always borrowing it. You always want to have a hand truck, okay? The pressure, Portland pressure washer. Okay, we got to talk about the Portland pressure washer. This thing is $75. All right, now, just, I, I went back and I'm like, how long has it been? I've seen it cheaper. I've seen it $5 cheaper. I've seen it a lot more expensive. Check this out. I went and checked one of my old videos. This is from seven years ago. Seven years ago. This thing, here's the older version. It, was, it wasn't even Portland then. It was a different version. I think they changed it the year after this. $80. And this one, look at the ratings. This one was trash. We all knew it back then. No one bought that pressure washer. It was trash. And it was $80 on sale. And right now you're getting the Portland one on sale for $75. That is a, that's a buy it price. All right. Is it, I've seen it for six or 70 once or twice. This is a buy it price on this pressure washer. And people are like, is there a good pressure? The more I think about it, this is actually a great pressure washer. Uh, I might want to change the form factor a little bit, make it a little bit, you know, I like the ones with the reels and all the other stuff, but for $75. And the only thing that was holding it back was that it had its own kind of wand kind of thing where you couldn't put adapter tips on it. Well, they fixed that $8, $8. And you now get the, the, uh, the extension wand on it that now takes universal tips that are used on every single pressure washer out there. Now, even though it shows it in this picture, you don't get the tips with it. You got to buy them separately. And they have them down here. Their tip, their, their five pack is uh, 20 bucks. And they and that lets you also let you use the foam cannon. Their foam cannon is $33. Don't tell them, but you're better off going over to uh, Amazon. We've got this package right here. Look at this. You're getting seven tips and the adjustable rotating turbo nozzle there for $21. And the uh, Astro AI uh, has their, it's a pretty good foam can in there for $19. I'll put links to both of these down below so you can check them out. All right, let's keep going here. So the, uh, let's see here. Oh, and, oh, and I, and I got to say this. Uh... Oh, and I almost forgot, you got to use a good soap with your foam cannon. I recommend Chemical Guys. As you can see right here, it's the one that I buy, uh, and uh, it it just works. It does. Uh, we got the fly swatter. Do not swat your wife with that. It will not end well for you. The Predator gas-powered auger here for $190. First of all, Predator, as I said, just 
just top notch engines. All right. You're looking at, I think it's a 50, 55 cc engine that's on it. $190. That's a good price on that. Although if you saw our deals of the week, and if you're not following deals of the week, every Monday, we talked about this. This is the sportsman over at home Depot. Their 43 cc, six inch gas auger, $136, $136 on that. Nah, your choice there, okay? Uh, this tarp, I can't say enough about the black tarps there, the the, the silver and black ones. They are rugged, heavy-duty tarps. Here we go. $300 on the Hercules 12-inch sliding miter saw with the shadow guideline on it, the drop shadow. That is, have you seen the price on DeWalt saws? The, the, the 780 is like $500. The 779, which is the same thing minus the light, there's no difference anymore. Uh, it, it's now like $400. $300, you can't come close to this saw anymore. It, it's just ridiculous. Of course, the Bauer stuff, uh, it's the Bauer brushless. I really like the new Bauer brushed or brush brushless. This is sorry, this is the Bauer brushed, the brushless. But I will say this for a home gamer, if you're changing tires, working on, on bigger stuff, this. Just get the corded impact wrench. Yeah, it looks like a freaking torpedo assault impact wrench, but for taking off tires and basic kind of maintenance around the car, that's not a bet for $60. If you're on a budget, yeah, get that. Uh, the Bauer, talking about, you know, if you're on a budget, the Bauer, uh, you know, short throw random orbit uh, polisher there. I know pros who use this. In fact, I know quite a few pros who use this thing. It, it is, it's a well-known secret in, in the industry there. $30 on the Bauer Recip saw. It's a corded Recip saw. It's a fantastic around the house Recip saw. We've got one. We use it at the house. I got the cordless stuff too. You can't beat the runtime on that corded. The Chicago sliding miter saw, that's a pass. The Admiral for 190 is not a bad miter saw. The Bauer uh, miter saw stand, it's a good middleweight stand. And the Warrior, that's, you know, the Finger Slicer 3000. I just don't like them. They're small. There's nothing wrong with it. it, it if you're on a super budget, you just need small, portable kind of stuff. You're ripping lumber kind of thing. It's probably fine. I just don't like little, tiny, lightweight table saws. That's just me. Uh, I like my fingers where they are. The step bits are for 10 bucks. They're decent step bits. They really are. This one I've always been kind of down on, with, which is the six inch, uh, the, the recip saw blade. But I, you know, it's a 12 pack of disposable blades for $6. If you're going to be cutting through some stuff, you know, and you're, not, you're worried about what's in it and you don't want to spend for a bunch for a high end. I mean, quantity has a quality all its own sometimes. 12, I did some research before doing this video training. Like, can I come close to this? You can't come close to 12 pack of blades for $6. All right. Now the surface conditioner tour there from, from Bauer. You, if you've been around the channel, you've seen my video on it. I use it a ton. Absolutely in love with this thing. I got it at first. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll donate it to the school. Now I have to buy them one because I'm keeping it. It's fantastic. I use it for all sorts of stuff. Rotary hammer for $75. That's a good deal. This is a great grinder for 20 bucks. I know we talk about the $10 grinder a lot. And if you're going to be doing like, especially as you're doing welding and stuff, it's great to grab and put like a flap disc on and just leave it. And that's my dedicated flap disc grinder or my dedicated, you know, cutting with it, it as a dedicated grinder. It's great as a light duty grinder. It's great as an everyday. I'm a professional welder. No, no, it's not. Now the warrior heat gun for 10 bucks. It's not bad. It's all right. If you're on a budget, I get it for $10. It's not terrible, but we got a better deal coming up later. Uh, shop fans for a hundred bucks. That's kind of standard. Uh, let's see here. The, the creeper there for $25. That's a hit or miss item. I'm sorry. A lot. Some people get them. They last forever. Some people get them and the wheel breaks after, you know, right after 90 days. Yeah, it's a hard one. Now the Pittsburgh pneumatic roller seat here, $25. Uh, and I told people, I told people for years, don't get this thing. It's dangerous. Uh, they finally did a recall on it. This is the newer version should be fine. That said the icon seat. Now granted it's more, this is $25. I still not a big fan of those seats. Uh, let's see. Let's jump through some other deals. Again, look at this. We got the super coupon here on the five drawer cart for $200. Now, a lot of you are going to go, well, back in my day. Yeah, I, I know back in your day and all that and stuff. But uh, look at this. We're, we go back into our way back machine. Here it is. Again, seven years ago, it's $170. $170. And this is for the the first gen on that cart. Here's the here's the new polished third gen version in gray with the black trim. Of course, you can get it any one of the eight, eight colors you can get it in. 
and uh, for for thirty bucks more. That's I mean, you were talking about inflation and hard. I mean, after seven years, that's not that much of an increase, guys. Come on, the ammo box, thirty caliber ammo box for three three dollars. Good luck finding something like that anywhere else. The tool bag, you know, I'm a huge fan of the tool bags. You can't get enough of those. Always grab those when they're on sale. They always seem to want the wife, friend, somebody ends up borrowing, they walk off. The Yukon, there. Look at this, three hundred and twenty dollars. Let's hit the Wayback Machine. My first video I did on YouTube that kind of blew up was this one, and it was three hundred dollars back then, and that was on sale. So an increase of twenty dollars over was that one was five years ago and now you have instead of just at, back there you could get any color you wanted as long as that color was black now you got four choices white blue red and black twenty dollars i'll pay twenty dollars for a choice of colors i got and you know what i love them for if you see my other video the nine drawer carts they make great outdoor kitchen setups if you've if you've got a little barbecue outside little area set up stuff get this check it out it's got a wood top it's got a it's got a butcher top built into it folks all right, it looks slick, it looks nice, get it in the white, it'll look pristine out there. Hose it down every so often, it'll be fine. The Yukon bench for 150, yeah, we've seen a better prices on that, but it's a decent bench once you put it together right. Of course, the peg socket trays for 20 bucks, that's a good one. The Apache, you can't go wrong with these Apache boxes, they're just fantastic. All right, let's go down with the welder, the titanium Easy Flux for $160, pre-pandemic pricing, oh my gosh. We got the Bauer thickness player for on sale now. This is the two blade for $300, but we got a sale on the uh, the Hercules. And if you haven't seen my video on it, go check out the Hercules three blade planer that they have now. It's gonna be 60 bucks more. Real choice is like mm, two blade for uh, 300 or three blade for 360. I'd get the three blade. Uh, let's see here. We got the Vulcan mask. That's a great mask there for 170. Uh, let's see here. I think we covered a lot of this other stuff here. Da, 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 the trim. Da, da, okay, let me see here. Anything else worth Recovery strap for $13. That's not a bad item to have in the truck. Um, I know I'm jumping over, but we're looking for the, the items that really stand out. Uh, you know, and so like like this one, 11% percent off. That's that's nice, but when you get this 20% off, everything under, you know, everything under $20, 30% off. Why would you buy this now and not wait? You know one of those coupons is coming around. All right, let's jump over, though, and, and talk about some of the other stuff here real quick, all right? Um, you know, I uh, where did it go? I had... All right, let's talk Inside Track Club. If you're not Inside Track Club, I I don't get commission on telling you this. I don't make any money from this. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't get paid by Harbor Freight. Yes, they do send us products, and we've gotten a lot of products from them, but we get a lot of products from everybody else, too. The fact of the matter is, Inside Track, if you shop at Harbor Freight... It, on on any kind of regular basis, you want to get the Inside Track membership. If you are going to buy a big item, three hundred dollars off, buy the Inside Track Club. All right, there's just there's no two ways about it. Look at this. This is the seventy two inch. This is the one I have. You can check out my video. Of course, I've got it in classy white because I'm classy like that. Anyway, fifteen hundred dollars. This is a great price on something that basically just came out. Next up, we got the storehouse stacking tins. There, these are great. These are fifty percent off. Five zero. Next up, we got the Hercules. Look at this, Hercules. Again, this is something when you get those percentage off coupons, you can't get, you can't use them on the Hercules. Here's the Hercules abrasive cutoff saw, forty dollars off. Another thing are the Merlin. This is the Merlin I was telling you about. It's ninety dollars. This is a beautiful prosumer grade, maybe even value pro level kind of. We got three eighths premium retractable air hose reel. I absolutely love using this. And get a hose reel, folks. Get a hose reel. Get a cord reel for your shop. It cleans everything up, gets rid of tripping hazards, makes life so much easier, makes it easy to clean up afterwards. The Warrior 1.1 1 .1 uh, detail sander, I have it, maybe you can see it over on the shelf back there. Uh, let's see here, let's go over there. That's nah, too far away. Anyway, <laughs> it's over there. I, I use this thing all the time for $10. This is a no brainer for $10. That's 33% off, all right? Let's keep going here. We got the, uh, the hooks. Now, these hooks. Uh, somebody sent me this like, hey, what do you think about these hooks? I'm not a huge fan of them. I'm not. You know, and I'll tell you why. First of all, they're, I mean, they're not a bad price. Four pack for $3.29. But look at this. The hook stands straight out and then comes to a, comes up and that that's a kind of a sharp edge on it. They're easy to knock off. 
they uh, uh, whatever you have them on they're, they're easy to snag on you're catching yourself on them all the time you can see this when they when harp freight doesn't upgrade a hook here it is see it hangs down and then curves and so the front edge of it is curved so when you bump into it you're not going to snag it and rip it off and it doesn't stand as far out from the thing you're putting it on now those are seven dollars for 25 pound these are super lightweight hooks in this four pack here's what i use honestly in my shop I bought this. This is over on Amazon. You can see I purchased a, a 10 pack of these. They're 20 pound uh, horizontal. If you hang them vertical, because they're swivel, so they'll hang both ways. Look at that, 60 pound the other way. They will hold, I don't know if they'll hold 60 pounds, but they hold quite a bit. And I use them in the shop. I use them at the barbecue, use them around the house. Our front door the, uh, is, is metal, so we can hook stuff on the door. And get this, look at the, the thing here. It's a curved wire which means that front leading edge of the hook is rounded so you don't snag on it but it's is are they a little bit more expensive they're a little bit more expensive you got 15 dollars for a 10 pack that's a buck 50 each with a 10 percent off coupon that takes it down a little bit i don't know you you do you but that's the that's the hooks that we use now this talk about something i really like all the new doyle stuff in the anvils oh my gosh the the anvil the drill press vise the i've got one of the vices over here again you you can see it right there. There it is. Love the, the Doyle vices. That said, I almost wish I'd gotten this one because this is the six inch hitch vise. So you can use it as a bench top vise. You can also take it to your truck, put it in your truck. My truck has uh, a hitch on the back and on the front. Imagine that. I can use it any angle, any position on my truck. That is for $100. That's, and it's not a tiny vise. It's a six inch with an anvil on it. I, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, Bauer flap disc, they're 42% off. Again, I'm trying to find stuff that you can't get better on other deals here. The Bauer disc sander, now it's only $10 off, but there's nobody coming close to this right now. Now the old sander right here, let me show you the old one here. It's coming in, it's $85. I think they got a sale on it. It's, it's a little anemic. This is a fantastic sander here. It is, and a lot of people sell sanders like this. Wynn sells one, Ryobi sells one, almost everyone sells one. But at this price, $110, you can right, walk right down to Harbor Freight and pick it up. That's a go-to one. Hercules Grinder, 20% off. Again, 20% off coupons come around every so often, but Hercules is always excluded. This is a great everyday use kind of grinder. Four and a half inch quarter grinder there. The Bauer, look at this thing, 15 amp. This is a big boy grinder. Great, per, uh, per, if I could get it out, prosumer grade, almost 20%. That's 17%. At, been off on that one now look at this we got the die grinder now if you've been waiting to get a deal on a good solid die grinder this is it right here 25 percent off taking it down to 60 dollars the the tray here i've got i've got this tray i i use it all the time you, i don't know if you can see how dusty it is that's the one thing i will say it's negative about it because it's a silicone and it it's so grippy the dust sticks to it so you gotta probably need to spray it out anyway uh, they make a bigger one also. That's that's this one. They make a bigger one. They make a square one. Uh, I love using them. They're they're fantastic. The uh, this is not fantastic. I've burned through one of these saws. I know other people who've had them and not been uh, a huge fan of them. Thirty bucks. I would go. I, I would get this the skill saw uh, off of Amazon or off of, for 30 bucks more or 20 bucks more, I would go that route. If you're on a super tight budget, I get it, but uh, don't push it too hard. Let's just say that, all right? Uh, the Bauer uh, polisher here, buffer, this thing is a great deal, $100. It's $40 off the price. That is a great deal on this. If you've been looking for something like that, that's a great one to go with. If you've been seeing, we've been testing the new grinders and, and stuff from Harbor Freight thrilled with them absolutely thrilled with the new grinders uh this is the heat gun i was telling you about yeah you got to be inside track but it's 33 percent off that's better than any of the percent off coupons you're going to see 30 dollars. this is a fantastic heat gun one of the things about it is if you can see the back of it is uh is flat so what does that let you do let you do a little bit of that so now you got two hands on the workpiece you're not holding this and trying to do that and you use your teeth and burning off your whiskers and all that kind of stuff be smart with it, all right? This is a great heat gun to get. It'll do pretty much anything you need. Uh, now, let's see what else. This, I'm talking about the Pittsburgh Impact. Pittsburgh Pro, they used to have a bigger line of it. But look at this, your choice, either SAE or metric. Both of them are 20 bucks. This is, look at this. Uh, this is, what do I got here? I've got the, uh, is this the no skip one? Or, okay, not, they're all no skip, but uh, let me go over to the metric. So that's the SAE set you're getting. 
13 pieces on the on that and on the metric you're getting 13 pieces also but check this out that is 10 through 19 no skip six point sockets that that's awesome then you get 21 22 and 27 on top of it, which are the common ones now yeah if you were like well i need it up to 32 no skip then get the new quin set i'm talking about that anyway was it 30, 20 bucks for 40 bucks you can get your sae image these, i know pros who use these sockets daily and if they break oh my and and they don't really but if they do lifetime warranty any harbor freight in and out less than five minutes all right let's keep going the u.s general four to four tier card i'm going to me mention this one because i honestly like it better than the five drawer it's because i don't need a big hefty all-in-one cart i need small light duty carts because i have the big toolbox all right so for 170 dollars, this is not a bad option it's 30 dollars less i like the smaller size in this the only thing i don't like about it is it doesn't come in white it doesn't match the rest of my stuff uh it doesn't they don't have it in the new gray or the white I'm sure they'll update it at some point they've already got the new carts, I just picked this one up, the the, the new uh, service cart in white to match my lovely setup there. I know all you white toolbox haters are just screaming, ah, it's going to get dirty. Uh, so far, so good, right? Uh, anyway, and if you're going to do that, by the way, you also look at the U.S. General here, the uh, magnetic paper towel holder here. So you can see here, it, it comes in all the chiclet kind of colors, including white, because of course you would. But also look at this. This is something a lot of people don't think about. Yeah, you can use it for that. You can use it for paper towels. But take those, turn them sideways, coat hooks. You got a, you got end cabinet stuff like that. Put it up high, hang a coat on it, hang a cord on it. You know, that has all sorts of stuff you can hang on. makes a great, you know, kind of hook. It's rounded, so it's not going to cut, you know, any edges and stuff. I've used it in the winter for coat hooks all the time. I keep an extra set around just for that. Well, there you go. There you have it. There's your hot deals here to get up until Labor Day. Once the Labor Day sale hits, I will be the first one here letting you know what's going on. Make sure you hit the old chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of those savings. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.